Meghan Markle yesterday, March 24, released a teaser trailer for her new Archetypes podcast, with no mention of Prince Harry, despite the couple having signed up to their Spotify deal together. Prince Harry may follow Meghan Markle by going solo and releasing a podcast of his own, a royal commentator has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex released a teaser trailer yesterday, March 24, for her new podcast series, announcing that it will be called Archetypes and entail conversations with women. In a short clip, Megan says the podcast will investigate the labels that try to hold women back, and feature conversations with women and experts about how these typecasts shape narratives. In the press release and teaser announced by the former actress, there was no mention of Prince Harry, despite the couple having signed up to a Spotify deal together under their Archuil banner. But now, royal commentator Neil Sean has claimed that Harry may soon follow in his wife's footsteps and launch his own series. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Neil noted, we told you about Meghan going solo, and now we can tell you about Harry going solo too. Both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have finally galvanized themselves into action, so what can we expect from Prince Harry's podcast? They've decided to split them up to try and get revenue streams going. For Harry, what we're now told is that his podcast is going to focus on mental health, how to look after yourself, self-care, and basically how to survive in a very difficult world. Since leaving the royal family, Prince Harry has already taken on roles aligned to these themes, becoming a chief impact officer with Startup Better Up, and giving talks on mental well-being in the workplace. And, Neil suggested that Harry might tackle these topics through interviews on his new podcast, which he claimed the prince is working on alongside his memoir. Meghan Markle will have her podcast out first, they're going to test the waters, see how that goes, see how it looks. And then moving on from there, Prince Harry will follow, he claimed. After signing up to their original deal with Spotify together, Meghan and Harry had released two podcast episodes together under Archul Audio, including a festive special. And, reacting to the news of Meghan's announcement, some royal watchers were unconvinced, rudely calling the project a snooze fest that has been done before. In a statement shared on their official Instagram page on January 8, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said that, as they transition away from their role as senior royals, they plan to work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. According to Andrew Block, a branding expert, founder of Frank PR and spokesperson for Lord Alan Sugar, the couple is on the verge of owning the world's richest personal brand. Since moving to California and stepping down as working royals, Harry and Meghan have secured a number of lucrative business deals and personal endorsements which have seen their personal wealth rocket, the expert told The Sun. I would estimate their combined net worth is circa £250 million. They are really making the most of their newfound status, and their potential to become the world's richest personal brand looks eminently achievable. Them becoming a billion-dollar brand is certainly not out of the question. Sky is limitless. In his estimation of the couple's worth, Mr. Block considered everything from entertainment deals, Netflix, Spotify, Apple, to Harry's role within the Better Up startup as CIO, Chief Impact Officer. The Sussexes just recently took another position as advisors to financial firm Ethical on top of having shares in a vegan coffee business supported by their friend Oprah Winfrey.